everybody there using his ordinary phones. He's on Twitter and he's able to communicate to them and they communicate to him via that medium. And it is effective. You can imagine a population that has constant communication with its leader. You have probably seen the Prime Minister Mama Mbabazi take off a minute to glance at his phone in Parliament or at various social functions. Most occasionally he is either responding to or posting a tweet to the 13,000 followers who seek his audience without going through what he would describe as formal means. But what Mbabazi considers as part of his social strategy could eventually be a policy at all government institutions if implemented as a national communication strategy. Now, I encourage and soon we will require all ministries, departments and agencies of government, including local governments, actually to be on social media. But as the government struggles to transit from the traditional channels of communication to digitalizing the system, we put Mbabazi's proposed communication strategy to test. And the government official best fit for the test is the Prime Minister himself. Indeed, he's a frequent tweet. His last tweet was on 9th June. He has 2,098 tweets, following 349 people, and he has been listed 124 times. So, NTV and I sent him a tweet using different handles to check how fast we would get a response from him. The time check is 4 p.m. So I frequently kept monitoring both pages to check if he had replied. An hour later, I hadn't received a response. Prime Minister Mama Mbabazi is one of the most active politicians on the social media, especially on Twitter. But it's about 8 o'clock now and he has not replied to our tweets, which brings in the question of timely delivery of information to the public and how feasible is this strategy in bridging the information gap between government and the public. Yet, if social media is to be made mandatory for every government institution, Critics argue that government will have to put up its game before this is put into policy. They need to empower local leaders, especially in rural areas, in using the technology. Access to the internet and electricity is just a tip of the iceberg that government needs to address. Besides social media, government is to make information discussed behind closed doors public, especially resolutions or issues raised in cabinet. Every Wednesday we have cabinet, so we shall have a statement of cabinet decisions on a weekly basis uh, during the weekly press briefing to inform the public and uh, the media and the entire public of what will have transpired in that uh, cabinet to, to avoid really speculation and uh, giving out half-baked information. Another proposal in the national communication strategy is to establish a public relations office in every government institution. Currently, the Public Service Standing Order only allows the Permanent Secretary and the Minister to make statements on behalf of the institution. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.